Mozambique Time, November the 25th, 2014. Built by China Harbor Engineering Company Limited, or CHAC. The main body of the Nakala Coalport project witnessed its first ever birthing. This is a brand new trunk rail line and the ending point of the Nakala Corridor. Mozambique's rich mineral resources are transported to the rest of the world from here. It has been 26 months since September the 25th, 2012, the day when the project officially started, and 44 months since Czech entered Mozambique. Located south to the equator in Africa, Mozambique is a beautiful nation. However, after 470 years of colonization by Portugal and nearly two decades of domestic turmoil, poverty and backwardness have plagued this country all along. In the 21st century, 800,000 square kilometers of land and abundance of mineral resources and unique maritime conditions turned it into Sub-Saharan Africa's economically high-flying nation of hope and attracted enterprises across the world to flock into this country. In March 2011, China Harbor Engineering Company Limited entered Mozambique as one of the Fortune Global 500 enterprises and one of China Communications Construction Company's wholly owned subsidiary company. China Harbor Engineering Company Limited, or CHEC, has been dedicated to exploring the overseas market. However, in such a country full of multinational companies as Mozambique, it was not easy for China Harbor Engineering Company to gain a foothold and explore new businesses there. Observations, analysis and research took the Czech people an entire year to complete. They found that Mozambique has several world-class coal mines. The government planned that by 2020, annual coal production shall reach 110 million tons. But its ports only had a coal transport capacity of less than 20 million tons a year. There was a huge gap, which also indicated that if Mozambique wanted its coal export to drive the economy, an expansion of harbor and port was a must. So we started in that year, building the infrastructure Nakala Port, located in Nampula Province, it is the deepest port in northeastern Africa. The world's largest cargo ship can maneuver here with ease. Built by Vale Brazil, a railway artery line project as part of the Nakala Corridor project starts from the world's fourth largest coal mine in Moati's Tata province, goes east across its neighboring country of Malawi and finally reaches the coastline of the Indian Ocean with a total length of 912 kilometers. The Nakala coal port is its ending point and outlet to the sea. Its designed annual throughput capacity reaches 18 million tons. After completion, the coal port, with a throughput of 175,000 tons, would become the most premium port in Mozambique. China Harbor Engineering Company Limited locked its target on this project in its first bidding so as to gain a foothold in Mozambique.
In the world of engineering and construction sector, there has been a long time prejudice over Chinese companies in not meeting safety and environmental protection requirements in line of the world standards. However, in the bid, China Harbor Engineering Company Limited made promises beyond people's imaginations, especially in terms of environmental safety. This has won recognition from the project's proprietor, who is also the world's largest iron ore producer and exporter, Vale of Brazil. On September the 6th, 2012, China Harbor Engineering Company Limited and Vale of Brazil signed a contract on the construction of Mozambique Nakala Coport with a total value of 73.66 million US dollars and a duration of 24 months. The main construction work includes a pier dock, an approach span, and a rear overland passages. This project was China Harbor Engineering Company's first major contracted project in Mozambique. However, a tight schedule and heavy workload, among other issues, cast a doubt over whether the project could be accomplished as planned. In 2012, it was a winter in the Southern Hemisphere. China Harbor Engineering Company dispatched a young team comprised of virtually all from the post abyss generation to Nakawa. Undoubtedly, on this piece of barren land, they had started from scratch. When they first arrived here, no matter if it was the local import and export policies in Mozambique or international cooperation with the Vale of Brazil, had all left them in puzzlement. These setbacks led to delays in the transport and the customs clearance of engineering equipment. At the same time, during construction, the geological survey provided by the proprietor was a far cry from the actual conditions on the ground. This led to partial deformation and a caving of the iron post in the dock and approach span. To deal with these problems would take much time and occupy many key equipment, adding salt to the wound of a tight schedule. Facing these challenges, the young man from Czech faced up to the challenges. Since June of 2013, Along Czech's key construction route, the workers began to rotate shifts 24 hours a day. More people and equipment kept coming in. The project team hired professional business companies to actively negotiate with the proprietor over compensation and the possibility of postponing the deadline. The team also introduced the world-renowned safety management experts to ensure project quality as well as environmental safety. 你肯定是要跟这个国际化接轨的，所以这方面你自己如果是有做的不对的地方，你自己你那要考虑你是怎么样提提升你自己的管理，而不是说这个跟那个业主去争辩。When the project gradually moved onto the right track, the Czech people began to manifest their super adaptability. In the Nakala camp. People started to work when the sun rises and rested when it sets. Everything was going according to plan. Everything was in great order. The Chinese staff engaged with this international family with such ease as fish swimming in the water. When dealing with locally hired staffs, a management system with clear accountability created a harmonious community of shared interests. All this has become the strong driving force for the Nakala Coport project to proceed smoothly. It was a challenging in the beginning, but Czech have made lots of improvements and they have response to all client requirements and goals. And also the quality of the works, it's good. Technically very well prepared, this team. We, until now, we are almost two million man hours work without uh, any serious accident 
Okay, we didn't. I think this is a very good uh, number that we had worked together with Jack and we had achieved. de passar por lá em duas ocasiões e deu para perceber que é um projeto de uma grande, grande, grande complexidade. E o que é espantoso é que esse porto foi construído praticamente dentro dos prazos previamente é, fixados. O que, o que coloca a Check como uma empresa muito competente, muito capaz, não só de fazer grandes obras de engenharia, mas também de fazê-las dentro dos prazos e dentro dos padrões acordados com os clientes. Portanto, a Cheque está de parabéns por esta grande obra que construíram uh, na região de Nacala Velha. Eu acho que o tempo é importante. O tempo é importante porque ele nos deu uma oportunidade. 创造新世界的机会。我们日以继夜，在纳卡拉的这片港湾中耕耘，夯实基础，时间会证明一切。Our excellent performance in the construction of the Nakala Co Port proved once again Czech's leading position among its peers in the world. Beira Wolf Project, Pamba Port, and the Port of Maputo. One new project after another have embraced the Czech people with open arms and the Czech people with a great sense of responsibility are providing the African people with ever more services to create a brilliant future. Our efforts being made today are aimed to realize all the wonderful aspirations of the future. E apostou muito na questão da educação, não é? Porque é uma empresa que cedo percebeu que a melhor coisa que podia fazer é plantar uma semente. Essa semente plantada amanhã cresce e vai continuar o desenvolvimento do distrito de Macala Velha, o desenvolvimento da província de Nampula e o desenvolvimento do país.